Hey guys, welcome back to the laboratory. In this video, we are looking at combustion. By the end of this video, you should be able to define the term combustion, describe complete and incomplete combustion, and explain the effects of the products of combustion reactions. So, let's go. Combustion is a chemical process whereby a fuel reacts rapidly with oxygen and gives off heat. Put simply, combustion is another term for burning. In order for combustion to occur, all three elements of the fire triangle must be present. These are oxygen, heat and fuel. If one or more of these elements are missing, then combustion cannot occur. When fuels such as alkanes burn during combustion reactions, they release useful energy. Therefore, combustion is a type of exothermic reaction. There are two types of combustion reaction that may occur. The first of these two is a complete combustion reaction. Complete combustion occurs when a fuel burns in a plentiful supply of oxygen. The products of the reaction are carbon dioxide gas and water vapour. The general equation for this reaction would look something like this. For example, when methane burns in a plentiful supply of oxygen, the products of the reaction are carbon dioxide and water vapour. The carbon dioxide is formed because there is a plentiful supply of air, and thus there are enough oxygen molecules present to make carbon dioxide. A different reaction occurs when there is a limited supply of oxygen available for the fuel to burn in. This reaction is called incomplete combustion. The products of this reaction are not just limited to carbon dioxide and water vapour. This time, the reaction may also produce carbon, or soot, and carbon monoxide. These products are formed during incomplete combustion because there is a limited supply of oxygen, and so there are not enough oxygen atoms present to form carbon dioxide. When you are writing the equations for the incomplete combustion of a fuel, it's important you read the question properly to identify which of the products are formed during the reaction. For example, if a question states that the incomplete combustion of methane produced carbon monoxide and water vapour, then your equation for this reaction would look like this. However, if the question stated that the products of the reaction were carbon and water vapour, then your equation would look like this. The products of combustion reactions have different effects on the environment. Carbon dioxide and water vapour are both greenhouse gases, and so the production of both during combustion reactions contributes to the greenhouse effect. Soot is fine particles of carbon, often found in car exhausts and chimneys. The production of soot can cause the blackening of buildings and may cause breathing problems if and when inhaled. Carbon monoxide is a colourless, odourless, tasteless, toxic gas. In the more severe cases, the inhalation of carbon monoxide may lead to death. This is why it's very important to check your boilers regularly. Here's an example of a past paper question that I'd like for you to attempt to test your understanding of the content covered in this video. Pause the video and take your time to work it through. Press play once you're ready to check your answers. The incomplete combustion of a hydrocarbon produces carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is a toxic gas. Explain why the incomplete combustion of a hydrocarbon can produce carbon monoxide as one of the products. To answer this question, there are two things you must know confidently. The first is the products of a complete combustion reaction, those being carbon dioxide and water vapour, and the second being the chemical formulas of both, where carbon monoxide has the formula CO and carbon dioxide has the formula CO2. We know complete combustion takes place when there is a plentiful supply of oxygen. Because there is a plentiful supply of oxygen, 
there are more than enough oxygen atoms to oxidise all the carbon atoms and form carbon dioxide, a compound containing two atoms of oxygen. In contrast, incomplete combustion takes place when there is an insufficient supply of oxygen. This time, there are not enough oxygen atoms and so we form carbon monoxide, a compound with just one oxygen atom. And that's our answer. So, the first mark is for stating that there is an insufficient amount of oxygen during the incomplete combustion reactions. And the second mark is for stating that this means that all of the carbon cannot be oxidised to form carbon dioxide. So, how did you do on this question? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, that's it for this video guys. Thank you for joining me in the laboratory. Please leave a like on this video if you found it useful and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss another one. See you soon!